Hi, this is Boynton Stu. And today I'm going to give a walk around of my electric bike using an eBay 1000 watt rear hub motor. And the reason I'm showing you the front view is to demonstrate that the batteries are mounted in such a way, I've got 48 volts, uh, that the width of the batteries allow me to pedal because the width is actually a little bit less than the width of the fork. So here we go around. <clears throat> and what's unusual about these batteries is that these are the Walmart booster packs, 12 volts a piece. They have their battery, battery management system built in. And all I have to do is plug in their AC to DC adapter to charge them. And that's why they're stepped. And the reason that they're stepped is that I can have access to the plug-in for the charger. So that's the side view. The key to this installation was to take the controller and mount it at the lower bar of this mongoose mountain bike and that became a basis, a rest if you will, for the battery pack. And so that's the controller. We've got two batteries on this side, 12 volts each. They claim 12 ampere hours, but I'm only getting about four, maybe five. I can go 20 miles an hour for eight miles, no pedal assist, which is pretty good for me. And there's the hub motor. And as we go around to the other side, we see basically the same thing. So I consider it a very neat installation. I haven't shortened the wires. I haven't uh, done everything I could to eliminate the wires that are not used. But it's a pretty fine ride. And it's got a, a twist throttle. And uh, you turn it on with this button and those lights light up and you twist and go. And it's got very good acceleration. I would say acceleration is excellent. So here we have a, a mountain bike for about a hundred bucks at Target, a motor from eBay about 190, and the four batteries are 160, 150, uh, including a three dollar each two year money back warranty. That's it for today, point and stew.